Starring in an army, welcome to Kondamuka Country. My name is Colin and I would like to share my story with you today about Kabora. Kabora is a sacred lake on my island home, Minjeraba. Kabora is protected within the Nari Bajonjara National Park on Minjeraba. Kabora is sacred to the Kondamuka people. It means silent pool. Kabora has crystal clear water and has remained unchanged for thousands of years. Kabora is a window lake which is 9 metres deep. Sacred Pine, Baruggery. Before the tribe would approach the lake, they would stop at Baruggery, the old sacred tree, and call out to the Jarjans, the rainbow serpent in their language, and wait for a sign. If the water was calm, it was safe to approach the lake. No one would take the water or swim in the lake. Many years ago, a tribe of people went to Kabora to bury their king, Yarika. When they arrived at Kabora, there was birds and fish everywhere. Instead of burying the king, they had a quarry. This was taboo at Kabora, and the spirits became angry. The spirits caused the valley to sink, and the water drowned the tribe. A small hunting party returned to the camp to see how, what has happened. Next morning they set the king's body adrift on a raft and they hurried away from the fearful place. Yarika was the last king to be buried at Kabora. One day, me and Kayala was walking through Brown Lake. Suddenly, Kayala saw something in the bush. And I saw it too, the big black cat. Oi! What? Super so cat. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Believe me! I don't believe it. No, that's it. No, why? And I searched and I searched for the big black cat. It was never to be seen again. When my nana was young, she fell sick with meningitis. The doctors said she wouldn't survive, but she didn't want to leave us. My great nana Vivian and great auntie Susie took her home from the hospital. They let her rest and took good care of her and rubbed her with dugon oil. My nan made a full recovery and soon she was fit and healthy. She is a strong woman from Manjeraba and is still alive today. The dugon has saved my nana's life. In my language, we say yanjan for dugon. That's why the dugon is one of my favourite animals, and now I call them my friends. Me and my family went to Back Beach one day and collected dugos when we saw a lump, we told Uncle Dale to stop and we would get out of the car and start digging, then put them in the bucket. Then we would go home and Uncle Dale would start cooking the ugrees. Finally we had eaten the, the ugrees and they were so yummy. What's your name? My name is Preston Copsicles. I play for the Strati Sharks. Or I play halfback. Well, I like scoring tries and kicking for goal. And I like running the running 
I play for the Stratus Sharks just like my Uncle Corey and my cousins. I also like going down to the footy field to play touch or tackle with my friends. Yeah. My first year playing rugby, last year I played AFL and, I, and in the last two games I scored six tries and two goals. My favourite players in the NRL are Jonathan Sturt and Ben Barber and Greg Inglis, but one day I might be better than them. Thank you.